for Georgia News Now. I'm Charisma Calhoun. Coming up in today's news, the Whitfield County GOP announces the expansion into the Hispanic community. Dalton High School's homecoming is set for this Friday, and Dalton's newly remodeled Civitan Park is great for local families. Still later, we'll get into some state news. Then Grant Harris is here to share WDNN's community calendar. But first, here are the obituaries. Dalton's largest outdoor music event of the year, the Friendship House Music Festival, Saturday, September 16th. Coming to the Mohawk Celebrity Stage, the Molly Ringwalds. Admission is free, with special guests A Murder of Crows and Charles E. Etheridge, plus Shaw Industries' spectacular fireworks after the show. VIP area provided by Engineered Floors. Saturday, September 16th, the Friendship House Music Festival. Gates open at 4, go to fhmusicfestival.com. At First Franklin Financial, we make loans for living, offering personal loans from $600 to $15,000 with fixed rates, flexible terms, and payment plans to fit any budget. And with same-day approvals, you can get your money right away. The next time you need a little financial help, First Franklin Financial is here for you. Visit 1FFC.com to learn more. My car looks totally ruined. I don't even know what to do. Locally owned Dalton Collision Center is the only choice when it comes to all of your auto body and refinish needs. Our experienced staff provides quality work from start to finish, will help with your claim, and even assist with getting your rental car. Everything from A to Z. So you can focus on life, we can focus on getting you there. Did you know skin cancer is the most common cancer in the United States with over 5 million cases diagnosed each year, yet it is one of the most preventable? Hi, I'm Courtney Johnston, the physician assistant at Dalton Plastic Surgery. Did you know we offer routine skin checks in our office? Schedule your appointment with us if you have any areas of concern or if you have not had a recent skin exam. At Dalton Plastic Surgery, we offer an array of different services to help you feel and look your very best. Give us a call today. Hey guys, I'm Shane Franks and I'm here at Paniagua Auto Mall with Francisco Paniagua. And he's going to tell us how we can get ourselves in a good car today. How easy is it? It's very easy. If you got credit, just come see us. If you don't have credit, come, bring two pay stubs, last bank statement, and the rest we can do it here. And there's over 400 vehicles to choose from, so if you're tired of driving around in that clunker, come over here and they'll give you something you'll be proud to ride in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, North Georgia. Gracias, North Georgia. We appreciate you, North Georgia. I'm Seymour. I'm John Moore. Like the Georgia Bulldogs, we're number one. Thank you, North Georgia, for voting us number one six years in a row. If you're hurt and want the best, give us a call. We'll do the rest.
Welcome back to North Georgia News Now. Our first report comes today from the Whitfield County Republican Party, who announced its Hispanic Republican Forum was successfully held recently. After welcoming remarks from party chairman Eddie Caldwell, opening prayer was offered by Pastor Ernesto Molina, and a flag salute was led by members of the San Pueblo. Pablito soccer team. The scheduled speakers, Zuis Martinez, Carly Eli, and Rique Calvario, discussed how the values evident in the Latino community, such as Christianity, traditional family, right to life, entre entrepreneurship, and strong work ethic align with the platform and policies of the Republican Party. Eli is the Georgia chairwoman of the Republican National Hispanic Association. At the meeting, it was also announced that the Whitfield County Republican Party is now officially sponsoring Dalton's San Pablito youth soccer team under head coach Hector Hernandez. Hernandez has been a longtime leader in developing the local youth soccer programs that have led to Dalton's success in the sport and nickname of Soccer Town USA. It was further announced that the Whitfield County Republican Party will for the second consecutive year, sponsor a booth at the Hispanic Heritage Rodeo at the North Georgia Fairgrounds in Dalton on Sunday, September 17th, beginning at noon. The Whitfield County Republican Party is leading the way to encourage greater involvement of conservative Latinos in the local political process. For further information, please see the party's website at whitfield.gop or connect via the Whitfield County Republican Party Facebook or Instagram pages. In other local news, Catamounts on Demand is the theme for this year's Dalton High School homecoming festivities that will include the traditional coronation of the homecoming queen at halftime of the football game against Lassiter High School on Friday, September 15th. Kickoff is scheduled for 7.30 p.m. Reunion classes have, who have registered to attend so far include the classes of 1973, 1978, 1983, 1993, and 2003. Any other classes of Dalton High School who wish to participate in the parade should contact Claudia Gutierrez at 706-876-4800 or via email at claudia.gutierrez at dalton.k12.ga.us or email Amy, Amy Gleaton at amy.gleaton at dalton.k12.ga.us. Festivities start with the dress-up days for students and class competitions for the Spirit Stick beginning on Monday, September 11th. On Friday, September 15th, a pep session will be at 9.30 a.m. and all alumni are invited. It will be a half day of school for all Dalton Public High School students. Dismissal for Dalton High School, the Dalton Academy, and Dalton Junior High School will be at 10.30 a.m. Hammond Creek Middle School will be dismissed at 11.45 a.m. And all elementary schools will be dismissed at 12.45 p.m. Regular bus routes will run. At 1 p.m., individuals who are decorating the floats for the annual Dalton High School Homecoming Parade should bring their float to the east parking lot to begin decorating. The parade will begin promptly at 3.30 p.m. All floats will leave the DHS parking lot by 3.50 15 p.m. This year, Mitchell Boggs will be the Grand Marshal of the parade. The traditional homecoming dance for students will be on Saturday, September 16th from 7 to 10 p.m. The Dalton City recently dedicated the new playground at Civitan Park. The event was attended by city leaders, staff, and onlookers. Mayor David Pennington spoke at the event, noting that the importance of the park as a popular play area in the city. The new playground is part of the city's improvements project. It was built shortly after a new restroom facility was added to the park. The playground includes a large play structure with slides, a zip line, and a separate area for play equipment for younger children and those with special abilities. The playground was designed by Parks and Recreation Director Caitlin Sharp, Recreation Superintendent Will Chapel and fifth grade teacher Allison Klebish. They asked for feedback from Klebish's class. The children wanted zip lines, a place to play with friends, and climbing areas, swings, and a water feature. The swing set will soon be added to the park. Members of Klebish's class attended the ceremony, and one student cut the ribbon to open the park. City Administrator Andrew Parker said the city staff aims to make Dalton a great place to live, work, and play. He said the parks department plays a key role in this goal, as these facilities attract young families to Dalton. Parker, who's a new parent himself, said recreational facilities like this one improve the city's quality of life. And this one has a little bit of something for everyone, including a walking track and a flowing creek. What fun. And when we return, we'll look at state news. Dalton's largest outdoor music event of the year. The Friendship House Music Festival, Saturday, September 16th. Coming to the Mohawk Celebrity Stage, the Molly Ringwalds. Admission is free with special guests A Murder of Crows and Charles E. Etheridge. Plus Shaw Industries spectacular fireworks after the show. VIP area provided by Engineered Floors. Saturday, September 16th, the Friendship House Music Festival. Gates open at four, go to fhmusicfestival.com. Do you have a new home project? Come to West Yellow Knife. We've been providing doors, windows, flooring, and unfinished cabinets for four decades. 
We have new, unique, and exclusive items weekly at a price you can afford. Let our friendly staff assist and point you in the right direction. West Yellowknife, conveniently located right off of I-75 at 2226 Chattanooga Road, Dalton, Georgia. Come let us make the job easier and make your dream home complete. Do you have a finicky feline? Here at Dalton Veterinary Practice in Kitty Corner, we have a unique cats only waiting area that'll take some stress off of your trip to the vet. Our office has a completely separate waiting room for both dogs and cats. We are conveniently located on Cleveland Highway. We offer wellness and urgent care appointments for both dogs and cats, Monday and Tuesday, eight to five, and Wednesday through Friday from eight to eight. Call 706-281-4770 to make your appointment today. Did you know skin cancer is the most common cancer in the United States with over 5 million cases diagnosed each year, yet it is one of the most preventable? Hi, I'm Courtney Johnston, the physician assistant at Dalton Plastic Surgery. Did you know we offer routine skin checks in our office? Schedule your appointment with us if you have any areas of concern or if you have not had a recent skin exam. At Dalton Plastic Surgery, we offer an array of different services to help you feel and look your very best. Give us a call today. Every day, thousands of kids start vaping. And I can't let this happen to my kid. So if you want to talk to your kids, you have to get it trending. No, you're doing it wrong. Let's go. Can we talk? Yeah, what's up? Visit talkaboutvaping.org for tips on when and how to have the vape talk. I'm Shane Franks from North Georgia Television. Perhaps you've got a business or an upcoming event that you could use some major exposure for. At WDNN, we've been providing coverage and advertisement for over 30 years. So let us bring the community to you. You can also advertise on four of our other stations. We're also in five neighboring counties, Whitfield, Murray, Catoosa Walker, and Gordon. So for more information on getting advertisement, give me a phone call at 706-270-2410. Welcome back to North Georgia News Now. Looking stateside, a report released on Friday revealed that a special grand jury investigating efforts to overturn Georgia's 2020 presidential election results recommended indictments against a much larger group than prosecutors ultimately charged, including one current and two former U.S. senators. The nine-page report showed jurors recommended charges against 39 people compared to the 18 who were charged along former President Donald Trump. Those not in indicted included Republican U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, former U.S. Senators Kelly Loeffler and David Perdue of Georgia, and former Trump National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. Parts of the report, which has 19 pages of appendices, has been released in February, but a judge had delayed the release of any recommendations for specific charges against specific people until, la until after last month's indictment. While most of the intrigue in the inner workings of the case has diminished with the filing of charges, it is notable that the special grand jury recommended charges for many people who were not actually indicted. A spokesperson for Trump, the early frontrunner for the 2024 pre Republican presidential nomination, criticized the release in a statement calling it bias and un-American. Ram Loeffler, Purdue, and a lawyer who has represented Flynn did not immediately return messages seeking comment Friday. The special grand jury included Graham's name in the section about the, quote, national effort to overturn the 2020 presidential election, which Trump lost to Joe Biden, a Democrat. The South Carolina Republican called Georgia State Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger shortly after the November 2020 election. Raffensperger has said Graham asked him about whether he had the power to reject certain absentee ballots. Purdue and Loeffler were sitting U.S. senators who had failed to win enough votes in the November 2020 general election and were forced into the January 2021 runoff, which they both ultimately lost to Democratic challengers. In the weeks after the election, they were vocal of their criticism of Raffensperger, going so far to call for his resignation. In an interview on a right-wing cable news channel in mid-December 2020, Flynn said Trump could take quote, military capabilities and could place them in swing states and, quote, basically rerun an election in each of those states. He also traveled to the South Carolina home of conservative lawyer Lynn Wood in November 2020, when Wood has said meetings were held to discuss possible ways to influence election results in Georgia and elsewhere. The panel has spent seven months hearing some 75 witnesses before completing a report in December with recommendations for Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis on charges related to attempts to overturn the election. 
Willis had said she needed the panel's subpoena power to compel the testimony of witnesses who might otherwise have not been willing to appear. The release of the identities of the people recommended for indictment is a departure from ordinary grand jury protocol, which dictates that prosecutors do not disclose the names of individuals investigated, but not charged so as to prevent potentially innocent subjects from being unduly maligned. Special grand juries in Georgia are relatively uncommon and are essential or and are essentially an investigative tool. They do not have the power to bring an indictment, but rather can produce a report with recommendations that are not binding on a district attorney who must seek an indictment from a regular grand jury to bring charges against anyone. The special grand jury's report is based on the testimony of the witnesses prosecutors called and the evidence they presented over the last second half of the last year. In the report, the grand jurors made clear that the panel contained no election law experts or criminal lawyers. The report continued stating that the the majority of this grand jury use their collective best efforts, however, to attend each every session, listen to every witness, and attempt to understand the facts as presented and the laws as, as explained. Of the 19 people ultimately indicted, only one was not included in the special grand jury's recommendations. A former White House aide who served as the director of Trump's Election Day operations, Michael Roman, was involved in efforts to put forth a set of fake electors after the 2020 election. Fulton County Superior Court Judge Robert McBurney ordered the partial release of the report in February, but declined to immediately release the panel's recommendations on who should or should not be prosecuted. The judge said at the time that he wanted to protect people's process right, due process rights. McBurney said in a new order filed in August 28th that the due process concerns were moot since a regular grand jury has indicted Trump and 18 other people under the state's anti-racketeering law. All have pleaded not guilty. All have pleaded not guilty. Many of those indicted, including former New York mayor and Trump attorney Rudy Giuliani and Trump White House chief of staff Mark Meadows, are known to have testified before the special grand jury. Trump was never called and did not appear before the panel. The parts of the report previously released in February included its introduction and conclusion, as well as a section in which the grand jurors expressed concerns that one or more witnesses may have lied under oath and urged prosecutors to seek charges for perjury. The panel four-person has said that in news interviews that the special grand jurors had recommended that numerous people be indicted. Our next story comes from neighboring Tennessee. Hamilton County Elementary Special Education teacher David Esvito is facing charges of simple possession, unlawful carrying or possession of a weapon, drug paraphernalia, and promoting prostitution. The charges come after a human trafficking operation by the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation in Chattanooga. Esvito was suspended without pay pending the legal investigation August 29th. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation says five men were arrested after the multi-day operation. Jeremy Loft Quest, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation Assistant Special Agent with the Human Trafficking Unit, says the team used proactive measures to make arrests and get seven women to safety. The Bureau partners with Grow Free Tennessee. Monica Thompson, the Hamilton County Health Department public health educator with the Sexual Violence Prevention Program, says there are indicators to look for someone that might be trafficked. This includes being overly reserved, seeming to be scripted with answers to no questions, showing physical signs of abuse or not having identifying documents. Thompson said that many victims will not ask for help, so she urges people to report indicators to state hotlines. She advises against approaching a suspected victim, but suggests calling a hotline. To report suspected human trafficking in Georgia, call the statewide 24-hour human trafficking hotline at 866-363-4842. If you have reason to believe that a victim is in imminent danger, call 911 or your local law enforcement agency to file a report. And still to come, Grant Harris is here to present WDN's community calendar, but first, here's your local weather. Dalton's largest outdoor music event of the year. The Friendship House Music Festival, Saturday, September 16th. Coming to the Mohawk Celebrity Stage, the Molly Ringwalds. Admission is free. With special guests, A Murder of Crows and Charles E. Etheridge. Plus Shaw Industries spectacular fireworks after the show. VIP area provided by Engineered Floors. Saturday, September 16th, the Friendship House Music Festival. Gates open at four, go to fhmusicfestival.com. Hey guys, I'm Shane Franks and I'm here at Paniagua Auto Mall with Francisco Paniagua. And he's going to tell us how we can get ourselves in a good car today. How easy is it? It's very easy. If you got credit, just come see us. If you don't have credit, come. 
bring two pay stubs, last bank statement, and the rest we can do it here. And there's over 400 vehicles to choose from, so if you're tired of driving around in that clunker, come over here and they'll give you something you'll be proud to ride in. Thank you. This is our Dalton, one of the fastest technology-driven gig cities in the country, thanks to OptiLink. We're making things happen with lightning fast internet. With OptiLink and its cutting edge fiber technology, you get unsurpassed bandwidth for the entire family with super fast speeds for all of your devices, keeping you up to date on the latest trends and dance moves. Never missing a moment with family, work from anywhere for a life well lived. Speeds beyond your imagination. Speeds that move your life forward. Go big, get the gig from OptiLink. My car looks totally ruined. I don't even know what to do. Locally owned Dalton Collision Center is the only choice when it comes to all of your auto body and refinish needs. Our experienced staff provides quality work from start to finish, will help with your claim, and even assist with getting your rental car. Everything from A to Z. So you can focus on life, we can focus on getting you there. Thank you. Thank you, North Georgia. Gracias, North Georgia. We appreciate you, North Georgia. I'm C. Mark. I'm John Moore. Like the Georgia Bulldogs, we're number one. Thank you, North Georgia, for voting us number one six years in a row. If you're hurt and want the best, give us a call. We'll do the rest. Did you know skin cancer is the most common cancer in the United States with over 5 million cases diagnosed each year, yet it is one of the most preventable? Hi, I'm Courtney Johnston, the physician assistant at Dalton Plastic Surgery. Did you know we offer routine skin checks in our office? Schedule your appointment with us if you have any areas of concern or if you have not had a recent skin exam. At Dalton Plastic Surgery, we offer an array of different services to help you feel and look your very best. Give us a call today. Welcome back to North Georgia News Now. I'm Grant Harris, and here are some of the things going on around the area. The Dalton Education Foundation presents Paint the Town Red in support of area's educators and students. The free event will take place at Burr Performing Arts Park in Dalton on Friday, September 15th from 4 p.m. 30 p.m. to 7 p.m. Live music will be provided by the Off the Rails concert series with Tristan Tripp. Food and drinks will be available for purchase. A free trolley will be provided from Burr Park to Harmon Field for the football game. The Friendship House Music Festival is hosted by the Friendship House and RCS Productions in Atlanta and will be on September 16th. The Molly Ringwalds will headline on the Mohawk stage and special guests, a murder of crows and Charles E. Ed, uh, Edgeworth, excuse me, minor, will also perform the event. Uh, the event will be free to the public at Burr Performing Arts Park with all the proceeds to the benefit the, excuse me, all proceeds will benefit the Friendship House. The event runs from 4 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. The Friendship House will host a disc golf tournament leading up to the festivities. For more information, visit uh, hfmusicfestival.com. It's almost time for the fourth annual Tunnel Hill Shindig. This non-stop high-energy country music variety show is unlike anything you will see in the area. The show combines all of your favorite new country music, classic country hits, inspiring gospel music, and a patriotic salute to our country's veterans. The Tunnel Hill Shindig features the area's most talented singers and dancers, youth performers, and hilarious family-friendly comedy. The only show of its kind and scale in, North, in the North Georgia area. Tunnel Hill Shindig is happening September 21st through the 23rd at the Colonnade Theater in Ringgold. Showtime is 7.30 p.m. with a 2 p.m. matinee on Saturday. For tickets, visit TunnelHillShindig.com or call 706-489-6650. With fall just around the corner, Dalton Ghost Tours invites you to make plans to come out for a 90-minute journey through Dalton's legendary past and many believe haunted present. Led by WDNN's Connie Hall Scott or one of her energetic guides, guests will hear all about the city's spooky underbelly. As Dalton Ghost Tour celebrates its 20th season, expect a lot of surprises. Signed copies of Connie's book, 
Haunted Dalton, Georgia will be available before each tour. Tickets are $15. Keep up with upcoming guests and activities on Dalton's Ghost Tours Facebook page and Instagram pages. Tours will take place every Friday and Saturday night, September through October at 8 p.m. Private tours are also available. For more information, call 706-809-0518. The Hard Apple Cider Tasting and Apple Lecture will be held on October 6th at the Chief Van Historical Site in Chatsworth from 6.15 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Hosted in partnership with Reese's Ciders Company, the tasting will be followed by a guest lecture from Joshua Foodner. Botanist and resource agent with the Cherokee County Extension Lab on the, histor on the history of apple trees in America and what botanists are doing to preserve heritage apples. This event is for ages 21 and up and is priced at $60 per person. Reservations must be made by October the 1st. Spaces are limited for the Imnet Outdoor event. For more information, call 706-695-2598. The Latino Taste Festival in downtown Dalton at Burr Performing Arts Park on the Hamilton Street is an annual event that is celebrating their ninth this year. The event will be held October 14th. It features traditional food, music, and dancers with dishes prepared by people in the Latino community and available for sale. Events begin at noon. Prater's Mill County Fair will take place October 14th through the 15th 15th at 5845 Georgia Highway 2 in Varnell from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tickets are $10 for anyone older than 12 and must be purchased on site. Children under 12 as well as adults with military ID are invited to attend for free. Parking and shuttle service is also free. For more details, visit PraterSmill.org. The North Georgia Fall Fair, taking place October 19th through the 29th, offers food, ride, and f rides, and fun for the whole family. Visit NorthGAFair.com uh, for more information. The Black Bear Festival in Chatsworth is a fall event with music, crafts, food, vendors, games, and inflatables for children 12 and under. Tickets are $5, although children... Uh, although children under 10 get in free. The event runs from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on October 21st and 22nd. Email welcomecenter at murraycountychamber.org for more information. Put on your best costume and get ready to trick or treat with participating businesses in downtown Dalton on October 28th for the annual Downtown Trick or Treat and Pet Parade. Check out Downtown Dalton on Facebook for more information. Be sure to tune in to WDNN's annual coverage of, the, of our area's high school football games hosted by Chris Owens. Football, uh, football Friday airs live every Friday night at 11 p.m. with a repeat on Saturdays at 11.30 a.m. So tune in and see who comes out on top each week. Episodes can be watched on the WDNN YouTube channel. If you would like to submit information for your North Georgia News Is Now community calendar, send an email to info at WN, WDNNTV.com. That's it for this edition of North Georgia News Now. Be sure to visit us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Thanks for watching Local. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click that subscribe button as well as bell notification so you won't miss any new videos. Also, follow us on our social medias. Thank you again for tuning in, and until next time, keep watching local.